this, but one of the big steps was that there was a, um, a property that the city owned. This was back when we were councillors, and I don't know how early it was, but it was fairly early. It was a property that we owned, we the city, in Burnaby for a future cemetery. And Burnaby wanted that property. And somehow or other, it got uh, the False Creek area was owned by the province, I think. And the province traded, there was a trade of properties with uh, the cemetery property owned by the city. And somehow or other, the um, False Creek that, uh, and the somehow or other, it was, must have been some sort of three way change. Uh, for, so that it was, uh, we took over ownership of that property. And we had ownership of that property, property for, I think, most of the time that we were aldermen, because that's when we learned about these leases and all that kind of stuff and tried to get them to all terminate in 1972. Um, and um, uh, the they were, they were on the north side of the, the property it was also owned by the provincial government. And you'll recall uh, that uh, we were planning to, to um, I, no, sorry, it was owned originally by Marathon, Marathon Realty, because it was owned by the, the railway and it was railway property and they stored rail cars on it. But then when Expo came along, the province did a swap for some properties they owned in the city uh, with Marathon Realty, which was the CPR. Um, and so the province ended up owning that property. And then when Van der Zandt came in, he, he developed it quite differently from what we'd envisioned. We'd envisioned doing it in incremental steps like we did with uh, False Creek um, on the south side, but owning it first. And um, uh, they didn't want to own it, they, they wanted to Get, you know, get rid of it and uh, have somebody else develop it, which pr proved to be an excellent development, I think, you know, uh, having a single developer do all that uh, w was, was a good development. I don't know if it was all that good a financial deal for the city, uh, you know, because it was pretty valuable property and I always thought they sold it fairly cheap. Uh, but um, that's a different matter. The important thing, it was develop well. And uh, you know, we started with um, the property swap and then the, uh, the leases and making sure they didn't go on too far. And, and then we were ready to go when, uh, when we had a majority and, and everybody, we campaigned on the basis of False Creek, you know, so you didn't have to ask the public anything. And uh, uh, there, we really, itself it financed itself we owned the land and uh, we got a i think a loan that time from central mortgage and housing um, to uh, as a, a sort of interim money while we developed this and then but we didn't sell the property we decided to lease it to to people it was a bit of an experiment and i think the experiment worked okay but it probably in the long term will be sold to people the residents there, although the, the public, uh, uh, the, the school and the playground and all that stuff will be kept, but it, it proved an, a nice place to live. I lived there for 10 years uh, and uh, we had a, a young boy go right through the whole of elementary school there, uh, excellent. A little far from high school though, so that made us move out ultimately, but it was a very nice place to live.